On the morning they released Andy Dalton, Kenny Anderson, the winningest quarterback the Bengals ever had until Dalton arrived at Paul Brown Stadium nine years ago to the day, recalled what he told him when Dalton wanted to wear his no. 14. You better be good, Anderson remembered Thursday. Or something like that. And he was. If you had told me there was this quarterback in the second round from TCU that's going to go to the playoffs the first five years, I'd say sign me up. No Bengals quarterback ever did that. The move had been anticipated, oddly, ever since Dalton became the first quarterback in the Super Bowl era to engineer 16 points in the final 29 seconds for a win or tie. The Bengals lost in overtime back on December 22 in Miami in a game that gave them the no. One pick that they used on Heisman Trophy winner Joe Burrow a week ago. Classy all the way to the end, Dalton reached out to congratulate Burrow and welcome him to the franchise he led to the postseason five straight times and two AFC North titles to go along with those 70 victories and .534 winning percentage. Symbolic of what he meant to the franchise, Bengals president Mike Brown not once but twice made sure Dalton knew what he meant. Brown doesn't usually linger in the Bengals' locker room because he believes it's a sanctuary for players and coaches. But after Dalton led the Bengals to a 33-23 victory over Cleveland in the final game of the year last season at PBS, Brown pulled him aside to tell him and on then Thursday he released this, Andy will always hold a special place with this franchise, and I know that he holds a special place in my heart. This is a hard day for our club because we know and appreciate what a consummate professional Andy has always been. We respect and appreciate Andy, and we thank him. It was Dalton's legacy off the field that also had Anderson remembering on Thursday. Not just the 204 touchdown passes he threw to break Anderson's franchise record they not only shared no. 14, but a passion for the community and it was a year to the day Thursday that Anderson, a former NFL Man of the Year, and Dalton, a former Bengals Walter Payton NFL Man of the Year nominee, hooked up for a fundraiser to benefit both their foundations. The Ken Anderson Alliance focuses on adults with special needs while the Andy and JJ Dalton Foundation aims to help special needs and ill children and their families. What he and his wife did in the community was tremendous, Anderson said. All the stuff they did in the hospitals, all the date nights for the parents with special needs kids, they really made a difference in this community and I really appreciated that. The Dalton's reach was wide, but always with physically and mentally challenged children in mind. They staged an annual day at Kings Island for children and their families, a date night for beleaguered parents, and a huge Christmas party known as Holiday Hearts.